Staking your soul is very important. And if you do not stake your soul, you're missing out on around 7% or more per year. Now, I'm assuming you are staking your soul. However, there's another thing that you need to be aware of in order to get more rewards. And that is by claiming the MEV. So let me show you how to do that and go through that right now. So firstly, here we are at Valde.com. I'm the general manager of Valde.com. You should stake your soul with Valde.com. You can see you're currently earning 6.8% APY and come on down, you can put in how much so you have and you'll see what you're going to get in terms of yearly performance. But we are a Jito validator. So we're using what's called the Jito client. And this means you get also MEV rewards. So as an example, if I jump into my cell flare or your phantom or ledger or what have you, and if I go to the staking panel, you can see I've got different staking accounts here with validator.com. And each of these is getting the actual APY of 6.8% although it does vary a little bit. But in addition, there's extra rewards that I can claim, but I have to claim them with a different website. So the website is just jito.network. You can find this officially on their Twitter, which will be linked below, but it's jito.network. All you need to do here is just connect your wallet, Soulflare, connect, and then scroll on down all the way to the bottom of the page, right to where it says Harvest MEV Rewards. MEV stands for Maximal Extractable Value. Basically, it's just a way to get more rewards from the network by doing things such as priority fees and other things like that. Now at this stage, it looks like we have to connect our wallet again. So we'll do that again. We're on a slightly different page, I guess. We'll connect and you can see here, we've got all of this unclaimed MEV in stake accounts. If you go to sona.watch and paste in your address, what you can see is I have all my stake accounts and then down the bottom here where it says Jito, I do have 0.34 sol. So $61 worth of sold that I can claim additionally. Otherwise, with Jito.network, you can see it just says LAN ports, but down the bottom, you can also claim it in Jito Soul or toggle this off and claim it as normal soul. If you don't know what Jito Soul is, just go to my YouTube channel and just type in Jito and then watch this here. Jito Soul, the best asset on Solana. So here we can go and claim our MEV. We're probably going to claim the MEV on all of our different stake accounts. And then you can claim it to Jito Soul if you'd like, or you can just leave it as soul and then just stake it directly with validator.com. Click Harvest MEV of Soul and click Proceed. You can see here there's a decent charge of Solana right here. Seems to be coming from validator.com though. And I'm just going to go and trust this transaction and approve. And I've successfully harvested MEV from three accounts. Now, if this doesn't go through, come up to your settings here and you can just make sure that you have priority fees on or toggle them off. And you can have tips active or off whatever you like in order to make sure the transaction goes through. Also, this next part is not legal advice, but if you're noticing that the website does not work for you, you may need to VPN to a different country. We'll give this a refresh. And now we can see there's no viable MEV in the stake accounts found. And when you are deciding who you want to stake with, of course, one would be validate.com, but there may be others. Make sure that their Jito commission is not set any higher than 8%. There are some validators out there that charge 100%, and that's probably not a good idea for you as you'll make a lot less in revenue each year, especially as MEV starts to grow and grow. Right now, it's the end of October 2024, and the actual MEV that's been generated on chain is insane. It's millions of dollars per day. The majority of that MEV goes back to the stakers. Now, let me show you something else. How do we move our stakers? accounts to become Jito Soul because maybe we want to take that Jito Soul and add it to Camino and borrow USDC on it and then still get the actual staking rewards or alternatively we may need that soul right away and we cannot wait say one epoch for it to unstake. There's a lot of things here to cover but as an example if we go to solanabeach.io we can see the epoch has only just started so we would have to wait another two days and six hours approximately for us to unstake and then get back all of our Solana. If we need this Solana straight away, then of course we can use the Jito Soul method. So back at Jito.network, just click on stake now, and then we can go ahead and we can batch convert LSTs and stakes to actually get Jito Soul. So we'll click batch convert and then we can decide which ones we want. So I personally prefer to keep my Solana staked directly with validate.com because if you move it to Jito Soul, it will be removed from validate.com and it'll go to other validators. But as I mentioned, you may require that Soul immediately or maybe you just want to use it in DeFi. So let's say we want to deselect these two. This here is basically nothing. And we're going to take this Soul right here and we're going to convert it into Jito Soul. So convert to Jito Soul. There's a small Solana transaction and we're going to be taking the stake account and transferring it to Jito and we'll be getting back this LST. So I trust this transaction and approve. 
And just keep in mind that that is 11.7 sol. That has been successful. And now in this panel on the right, we can just click unstake, click max. And you can see our 11.7 sol has turned into 11.69. So we're essentially losing about $1. We can here use the delayed in two days. So this is just normal unstaking, which of course we wouldn't worry about. And this would give us a little bit more, or we could do it immediately via Jupiter. And for whatever reason, this is essentially giving us the exact same amount, 11.7 sol. Now this is probably like this because there's a lot of liquidity pools out there with just a very small swap fee, like 0.01 or 0.02 as a percentage. Right here, we can select how much we want to unstake, like max, or maybe just a portion, and then unstake sol, and then we can get it back like that. Let's do max so we can see what we can get, and unstake sol, we get 11.7. You can also do it in-app with Soulflare or Phantom. However, just keep in mind that you do lose a little bit because they take a fee. But that fee is, of course, to actually make a brilliant wallet that's free to use. Alternatively, we can go to dupe.ag and we can just take our Jito Soul like this click max and we can swap it straight into soul swap it simulates the transaction and we can improve it and then we're going to get back our soul now you can see my balance is updated and i've got my soul back now before we end i want to make sure you are actually staking your soul because staking on different blockchains is quite difficult however with solana it's very easy and if you don't do it it's very silly let's click on stake and then you don't have to go max because you want to leave a little bit for gas but you could go say 13.3 of course validator.com the AP APY here is different depending on where it's getting its source of information and how often it's updated, but it is higher than 6.12%. And then we can just go and click stake and confirm. Then we can click on staking and we can see we've got an activating account. It will activate until the end of the epoch and then it'll be active and actually earning rewards. Now with that staking account, we basically lost less than $1. And as a reminder, the total value was around $2,053. Now I haven't worked out the math exactly, but if you are staking for longer than one epoch, you're earning more rewards than what it would cost to swap it into Jito Soul and then back to Soul or into Bonk or something like that. So that's why it's very important that you're actually staking your Soul. There's no excuses. You can always instant unstake it in less than about a minute. That's all for this video. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below or reach out on Twitter.